What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is the Kraber AP Sniper Rifle. So this is the last pilot primary weapon unlocked in Titanfall, and I'm sure you're all wondering how it is. Basically, this gun is a one-shot kill on anything, obviously except for Titans, uh, including pilots, no matter where you hit them. So if you hit a pilot in the toe, he's going to die. Meaning that this has one of the highest damage potentials in the game and is certainly a very fun gun to use when you just snipe someone in the face with this gun. That being said, it has some massive, massive downsides. Firstly, the rate of fire is pretty darn low. It's going to take a long time to shoot and then chamber a new round and shoot again because it is a bolt action rifle. Secondly, and probably more prominently, it has an extremely slow shooting projectile, meaning that you're going to have to lead targets insanely. You're going to have to shoot in front of people at any sort of distance where you have the advantage, um, being that this is a sniper rifle, you're going to have to aim quite a lot in front of people in order to hit them. Now, coming from a Battlefield background, like I played a lot of Battlefield, I'm very used to leading targets. So, this gun wasn't as bad as some people have described it to me. I was able to get some decent leads. However, the difference between Battlefield and Titanfall is that in Battlefield, you can decently predict where people are going to end up. They're running usually on a flat surface or up a hill or whatever. In Titanfall, a person's running along the ground one second and then they jetpack up to a rooftop the next. Their movement is very, very sporadic, so you're going to have a hard time leading targets because they'll just randomly jump off walls and jetpack different places and do random stuff, which you aren't really going to be able to account for when trying to lead a target. This means that you can actually turn this gun into a medium range weapon, which is what I did. I found that the leading at long ranges was just a little bit too difficult. I put the AOG sight on and used this as a medium range gun and found a little bit more luck there. It's certainly very, very... I'm not going to say this gun is bad because I feel like it's not meant to be a good gun. It's so rewarding to get a kill and it's really, really fun to be using this gun. Like going around one-shotting pilots is just a lot of fun when you get kills. That being said, this gun is not a competitive gun. Don't expect to put it on and be scoring as much as the people using CARs and carbines because you're probably just not going to do that. But if you're in a party of five or six and you just want to have fun, this is a great sniper to put on. I would recommend the AOG sight. The only thing I would say is stay away from the silencer. The silencer makes this gun not a one-shot kill in my experience. I put on a silencer and I was getting hit markers, which is the entire reason this gun is not just absolutely terrible is that it's a one-shot kill from anywhere. So don't put the silencer on. Anything else you can pretty much experiment with. I had a great time with the AOG sight. And by making it medium range, you get to lead a little bit less. But again, this gun is strictly mostly meant for fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always, have a good day. Don't let them get away.